Hey, what's up, Ovi Tribe? Thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most versatile and lightweight pieces of insulation on the market today, Loftec. If you stay tuned, we're gonna dive into why we think this is a piece of insulation that every backpacker should know about. Before we dive into the specifications on Loftec itself, I think it's very important that we back up and look at some of the insulations that are currently available on the market today. Starting with a bonded insulation. So a bonded insulation is what we use in our storm light synthetic uh, sleeping bags right now. It'd also be very similar to something like a Primaloft Gold. And the reason we call it bonded is it comes off in sheets like this. Now these sheets keep it together um, which allow you to cut out on some of the seams, but it is it is what you'd call a bonded insulation. Now, this synthetic insulation, some of the pros to it are gonna be that it's gonna work when it's wet, so it's not gonna wet out and collapse. It's a little bit easier to take care of and manage. It's a little bit cheaper. And last, um, I find that it's a little bit more breathable and forgiving of different extreme temperatures uh, because it, the fabrics don't have to be coated in a downproof coating, making the fabrics a little bit more breathable. So that's a bonded insulation. So the other most popular insulation on the market today is definitely down insulation. Down is still the, has the warmest weight to warmth ratio of any product out there. Um, it's still the most compressible insulation. And for those reasons, it's highly, highly chosen. Um, some of the cons or potential cons of down would definitely be that it's a little bit more uh, maintenance involved in taking care of it if you're using it a lot. And then also the one that's most talked about is the potential for it to wet out, which is when it gets so wet that it collapses as an insulation and it no longer has any thermal value. Now, even with a product like our Storm Loft uh, down, which has been DWR treated at the down level, it still has some risk of wetting out, even though it's a little bit more resistant to that. But that is the biggest concern with down, is it wetting out? So you've got this insulation works great when it's wet. It's a little bit more affordable and a little bit easier to take care of. You've got this product that's more lightweight, more compressible, but, but can fail if it gets too wet. Um, so where's kind of that happy medium? Or, or is there a product that can do both of these? And that's where some of the, the loose fill synthetics come into play. For the last four years since I started out Revitals, I've been very, very interested in the loose fill synthetics. And these are basically synthetics that are trying to mimic down. They're trying to be as close to down as they can so that you can still get that really, really lightweight synthetic that's very compressible, um, but has all the, the pros of a, a normal synthetic. I've met with the most reputable insulation companies in the world to see what they had to offer. And as I've looked at what they've offered, They've definitely gotten partway there, but I never saw something that I quite liked. Um, and when I would see them produce something, I would definitely look at the products that were being produced by the companies that were using their insulations. And with a little bit of testing, it wasn't quite where I wanted it personally. Um, for instance, this jacket, or this came out of a jacket right here that I spent over $200 on, and you can kind of see its properties. And for me, it was just a little bit too clumpy and had, had a few things with it that, that I wasn't happy about. But I've definitely been doing homework on this and doing a lot of, of testing on these products. Um, this, this product right here might come from the largest insulation company in the world. It's what they call a loose fill fabric. Um, but it just wasn't where I wanted loose fill to be if it was truly gonna mimic down. And a few months back, I had the opportunity to, to come across a, a, a great company to work with. Um, where we were able to, to work with them and produce what we call Loftec insulation. Now Loftec insulation is the closest thing to down that I've ever seen that is not down. Um, it, all of these individual plumes in here, they look just like plumes from down and, and they're truly, truly amazing in mimicking that, especially in the products that we've tested. Loftec insulation is a hollow filament polyester fiber. It's about 2.5 denier. So it's a very, a very small fiber in there, which also helps with its thermal efficiency. It's uh, actually been rated. So we've sent this in to the IDFL, the International Down Laboratories for testing. Uh, and they typically are testing down. However, they tested this as if it was down and it rated as a 525 fill power by them. Um, so essentially this is rating as a little bit lower quality down. However, it still has all the properties of synthetic. Um, the fibers themselves have been siliconized so that when it 
is comes in contact with water, water won't stick to it or adhere to it. It just drains out of it. And I'll, I'll kind of explain a story about that, that I had an experience yesterday, um, a little bit later here, but it, it, the water will just come right off of it. And it also makes it anti-static, which is huge. Now the anti-static nature of this um, is one of the main reasons that it, that it, in my mind, is better than some of these other options. And that's because it's more stable. One of the hardest parts about doing a loose fill uh, synthetic is its stability. If it's not stable enough, you have to sew it into these tiny, tiny baffles, which uh, r brings in more opportunity for cold air to come in on those baffles. So Loftec is very, very stable for a down imitation loose fill synthetic. So let's dive into some of the pros of Loftec insulation, starting with its compressibility. Loftec insulation is going to be way more compressible than things like our Storm Light synthetic, which is a very, very high-end synthetic insulation. It's going to compress much more like down. Along with that compressibility, it's also going to be very light, just like down. So it's going to have much higher weight to warmth ratios um, than a standard synthetic or a high-end premium synthetic. The pros compared to down is also going to be that it is going to be warm when wet. So if this ever did get soaking wet somehow, let's say you have it in a jacket and you're wearing it, it gets totally soaked. You're still going to be warm, even though you might be a little bit wet, unlike a down product that when it gets totally wetted out. Loftec is also going to dry a lot faster than down will if it ever gets totally wetted out. It's also going to be more breathable since we don't have to uh, manufacture this in a downproof coated fabric. It's going to allow more movement of air in and out of uh, the insulation, which means that it's going to have a broader temperature range. So if it's a little bit hotter, you're still going to be okay using it. You're not going to get as sweaty in the product. And then also if you ever are wet on the inside and use the insulation, um, that moisture is going to be able to escape easier. Loftec products are also going to be a little bit easier to wash and take care of. And then last, uh, down is a byproduct of the meat market. Um, obviously when we source our down, as we've talked in other videos, it's, it's responsibly sourced as a byproduct of meat. Um, however, with Loftec, um, and we don't have to be a byproduct of meat and those with allergies will not be affected any longer. So that's a lot of pros and cons and it's a lot to swallow. So what does that really boil down to? And why is that important to you? Well, let me tell you a little story just about yesterday. So I've, like I say, I've been very interested in this product for a long time. And there's some very specific places that I think it's, it's really, really important. One of which is in the jacket era. So with a jacket, um, I find that I sweat when I hike a lot. And in Utah, especially at high elevations, you can't always predict when it's going to rain or when it's going to snow. And yesterday was a perfect example of that. I had a, a pretty heavy pack on and I was trying to pack really light. And so I packed this jacket right here. This jacket right here is as warm as a down jacket. However, the insulation in it is actually uh, our Loftec insulation. This is a prototype jacket um, that we've been testing right now. So this jacket right here, I was wearing yesterday. I, uh, I was packing it for a lot of the day because it was super sunny and I was getting sunburned, but then um, the weather changed, it started hailing, and pretty soon it started snowing. And I was very fortunate to have this jacket because it heats and insulates like a down jacket does. However, it got, it was, I mean, it was a blizzard out there and, and part of the jacket ended up wetting out, specifically my elbow that was taking most of the wind and that was bending very frequently. But I stayed warm inside that jacket. Um, despite getting just smashed in this blizzard uh, in the middle of May, I might add, um, I was able to stay warm. I was still able to vent and, and, and then the blizzard stopped about 45 minutes before I got back to my vehicle. In those 45 minutes of walking, the temperature from my body pushed the moisture out of the jacket and I was almost dry when I got back to my vehicle. So in that instance, you can kind of see I got the benefits of down as far as the packability and being able to compress that and have it in my backpack. But I also got the benefits of synthetic uh, because when it got wet, it still kept me insulated and dry. If you're in the market for an insulated product that's both versatile and ultralight, make sure to check out our full lineup of products. 
utilizing Loftic Insulation and OutdoorVitals.com. Make sure that you're following us as well as we plan to release more products in the future utilizing this insulation. I really want to make sure that you're not letting heavy or bulky synthetics or the price or moisture limitations of down ruin any of your adventures in the future. I really believe that by utilizing Loftec insulation, you're going to be more comfortable in the outdoors regardless of the activity or the weather. Thanks for tuning in guys. If you have further questions, make sure to reach out to us over at support at outdoorvitals.com.